So here's the thing crazy. I was listening to the radio the other day and they were talking about populations around the world. And it came to my attention that South Korea may very well disappear before the next century. Now, sure, this is partly exaggerated because the actual country of South Korea probably won't disappear, but the population of South Korea might. More specifically, the native population. See, South Korea has the world's lowest birth rate. This is where there is a total fertility rate as of 2023 of 0.72. This is the average number of children a woman is expected to have over their lifetime. This is drastically lower than the 2.1 that is necessary to replace populations. That is, without immigration. Now, while there was a slight increase to 0.75 in 2024, it's still not enough. And when you combine this with a rapidly aging population, so in 2023, it's estimated that 20% of the South Korean population is over 60, which is phenomenally high, then there's going to be massive burdens on society to keep them alive. And when you have a low birth rate and a high life expectancy, your funnel looks something like this. And if current projections go by the year 2067, nearly 50% of the population will be over 65. This is really concerning for South Korea. With lower birth rates means you have a smaller working force, which means you're going to have to rely on immigration. And, well, we all know how that's working out for most of the world these days. And I'm not anti-immigration. In fact, I think we should live in a world without borders. There have been a couple of reasons for this 0.72 figure. Firstly, it's getting increasingly hard to raise children due to high costs in things like childcare, general upbringing and education. Work-life imbalances, rising house costs, but most importantly, things like gender inequality. A lot of the household and child responsibilities often fall on the woman, and that is not necessarily how we in this day and age work. We want to be equal, everyone working, which obviously everyone is entitled to have that freedom and liberal sort of feeling to work and, you know, make something from themselves. So yeah, all of these things are adding up to this sort of like cauldron of no kids in South Korea. It does make you ask the question of what is our purpose? Like, sure, it's great for men and women both to obviously have careers, be part of society, add contributions, feel fulfilled. But if it comes at the cost of our species no longer growing, at what point do we have to take a step back and be like, okay, what are the important things in life? I don't have the answer. But anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.